Hello guys and welcome back to some more Assassin's Creed. Today we're gonna be finishing off where we left off last time. We had some quality time with our father. And uh Yeah man. Let's get it. What do you want, man? I just I just started. I just you you two have some. Climb up here real quick. Um, yeah, I'm gonna frontier. I'm gonna fast travel. Hmm. 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 Yeah. About right. Sounds about right. What do you want? Let me call him my horse real quick. I'm out. No! Horsey! Follow me! Then my horse just ran away, bruh. Amen. We finally made it. The father waiting. What's up, Pop? What's up, Pop? Should be sharing what we know with Lee, not Washington. You seem to think I favor him, but my enemy is a notion, not a nation. It is wrong to compel obedience, whether to the British Crown or the Templar Cross. And I hope in time the loyalists will see this too, for they are also victims. You oppose tyranny, injustice. These are just symptoms. Their true cause is human weakness. Why do you think I keep on trying to show you the error of your way? You have said much, yes. But you have shown me nothing. Exactly. And we'll have to remedy that then, won't we? I mean, he's a good speaker. Sir. Hello, Connor. What brings you here? The British have recalled their men in Philadelphia. They march for New York. Very well. I'll move our forces to Monmouth. If we can rout them, we'll have finally turned the tide. And what's this? Private correspondence. Oh, of course it is. Would you like to know what it says, Connor? It seems your good friend here has just ordered an attack on your village. Although attack might be putting it mildly. Well, tell him, Commander. We've been receiving reports of Allied natives working with the British. I've asked my men to put a stop to it by burning their villages and salting the land, by calling for their extermination, according to this letter. Not the first time, either. Tell them what you did 14 years ago. That was another time. The Seven Years' War. Oh, wow. And so now you see what happens to this great man when under duress. He makes excuses, displaces blame, does a great many things, in fact, except take responsibility! Enough! Who did what and why must wait. My people come first. Then let's be off. No. You and I are finished. Son. Do you think me so soft oh. that by calling me son, I might change my mind? How long did you sit on this information, or am I to believe you discovered it now? My mother's blood may stain another's hands, but Charles Lee is no less a monster, and all he does, he does by your command. A warning to you True. both. Choose to follow me, or oppose me, and I will kill you. Shit got serious, bruh. Reach the old growth forest. <laughs> no. 
No. Locate and neutralize the Patriot Messengers. Dead. Where are they? Where's my duck feet? Two dead. Bro, get up! Dead. Actually, let me loot some. I need some bullets, cartridges. Got some back. You. Oh, I touched the ground. Oh well. I'm not here for phone synchronization. I'm here for redemption. Messenger. There you are. You are dead. No. How many arrows? <sighs> I should make sure the village is safe. Give me your hose. Ooh. Um, I don't remember the ending very much. I played this game like, uh, like every Assassin's Creed game I played at least 10 times up until this one. I played it like, I would say five, but only finished it once. Every time I play it, I play it until like, I play like, I play a long, like, very long of it, but then I stop. I never finish it. This might be my second or third time finishing it entirely. Oh, it's the old lady. Is he gonna speak? Yeah. What? Uh-oh. 
Wow. Wow, man. Tarsley came and took. Look. Do I knock him out? Okay. Knock one. Knock two. Knock three. <laughs> it's like a, a Royal Rumble, baby. Mm, body slam. No, 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 not, no, he has a, okay, just like that, now, for the finale, I don't have it, stop it, bro, I'm trying to help you, I promise, Oh no. I don't want to kill you, bro. No way, bro. We grew up with that man. We taught him how to hunt. Charles Lee, Mountmouth, was at the Hajib. I saw an art to Marseille. They know all the patriot, Rana de no uni. Jura saga, I saw an asset there. Oh, Doc Tangi, come on, dear Dio. Rono Dio, oh, the Queen. Unguenungue does some more. Oh, dear, the no start to get. Lies, man. They fed him lies. Iwe le ya na wando tayngwa ya tano stadu mo. Ona wasadresa yung jataro. Being an assassin, man, comes with a lot of burden. I have seen enough for one life. Sucks that how it end for his friend, bro. Remember when we were younger, we taught him how to how to hunt. Can we loot him? He's gonna leave him like that. <laughs> it's just, it's sorry, man. Sorry, bro. Sorry. All right, we gonna fast travel right here real quick, real quick. And we're gonna get past these guards real quick, real quick. They saw me. That's a point you need. I don't have it. I don't have it. That's a that's a cool name, bro. Who that? Who that? Marquette de Lafayette. 
If the enemy is allowed to push through, we will lose what precious little ground we have gained. Battle the of the Mamu. The sacrifices your brothers have made today must... Connor, my friend. 1778. We have arrived just in time to bear witness to our Summertime. glorious victory. Where is Charlie? We sheet. That Batar. He shows up in the middle of our preparations and just takes charge. Screams at everyone to advance and then rise away. I am left to pick up the pieces. Where did they come from? Send word that we are falling back! Everyone, to me! Now! Now! I will hold the area while you bring them to safety. Finest soldiers to serve as your personal guard. Lit. There is nothing they will not do awesome. to ensure you are victorious. Bonne chance, mon ami. Bonne chance, mon ami. Bonne chance. What? What? Bought us some time, sir. No way. Bro, we about to destroy them. Got shit on them, bro. Oh. Let me shit on you real quick. Ah! We'll push these red coats back yet. Dead. That should slow them down. Dead. A perfect shot. Dead. It's awesome, bro. Oh. We'll push these red coats back yet. Bro, I'm doing all this with one cannon, bro. That should slow them down. I'm shitting on him. Ah. That should slow them down. We'll push these red coats back yet. One that shot dead. Down. We'll push these Bro, red I'm back I'm yet. running through them. Imagine getting hit by a cannon. I am dead. Done. A perfect shot. Bro, I killed them all. Okay, you got that one guy, okay? Bro, you can't kill one guy. A perfect shot. Okay, no more coming from that way. Cause the old D. Took them all that to kill one that guy, bro. Their aim must be so bad. We'll push these red coats back yet. There's no more. I, I killed them all, man. We are low on ammunition, sir, and the enemy advances. Then we need to pull back, rejoin the others, and cover their escape. See, man, their bodies are just piled up top of each other. I did them dirty. Dig that. Let me reload my gun. Double. Oh, that triple. Oh, that's a double. Still, man, that was awesome. Reload, reload, reload. 
No executions. No. I can deal with this. Okay, okay. Dead, dead, dead. Slice, slice quick. Slice, slice quick. I'm out here. Give me some bullets. Good. I'm out here. Can you take this gun with me? with you I'm leaving no one behind okay where we stand well done my friend you have saved many lives today Connor what Charles Lee has betrayed you he forced retreat in the midst of battle, hoping the lost would take the lives of your men and see you relieved of your command. What? I'm sure he will come and spin a tale saying that he was outnumbered or I was somehow to blame. All lies. I will say it one last time. That man is your enemy and he will not stop until you are dead or dishonored. Connor's tale rings true. Lee was acting most odd upon the battlefield. I will investigate these allegations at once. You're still gonna investigate. The time for that is long past. This must be done properly, else we're no better than those we oppose. Never mind the political ramifications of such an act. Should you choose to spare Lee's life, then I will take it myself. Hell <laughs> yeah! Enjoy your victory, Commander. Kill my, killed our mom. It will be the last I deliver you. Team, exactly. If it wasn't for us, man, he, he that guy would have, uh, he would have been long gone. Everybody's ungrateful, man. This life, everybody's beat. Like just like that. The last couple of sequences are kind of short. Okay, that's sequence ten. Word. Something's oh. happened, Desmond. Abstergo has your dad. No. Where? Italy. Same place they were holding you. What are you two waiting for? Let's go. There's more. You bastard. Hello again, Mr. Miles. I hope this message finds you well, or as well as it can, all things considered. It appears we now each have something the other desires. I propose a trade. Bring me the apple, and I'll return your father to you no worse for the wear. Should you refuse, he will still be returned, albeit much worse for the wear. I assume you'd like to avoid an unpleasant outcome. Trying to say that, uh... I always knew it would come to this. Just not so soon. I wonder if Abstergo even knows what's about to happen. And has this been a part of their plan all along? Maybe they want the world to end. To see it all burned away. Do they know they have that? We have the app on? their new world. Ripe for the reshaping. We talked about looking for another power source. Leaving him there. It's probably what he'd want. For us to finish the mission. But I can't. It's hard enough taking a life, but letting one be taken? Knowing there was something I could do about it? Not a chance. It might be I'm risking my life. Risking all our lives to save an asshole. What else am I supposed to do? That asshole is my dad. It's our dad, man. It's our dad. Ooh, modern day assassin. I love it. They know I'm here, Rebecca. There's no way they don't. This, this is a bad idea. Oh, 
people. When was the last time you've been here, Desmond? This looks dope. Hand over your weapons and come with me, sir. I can show myself in, but thanks for the offer. I'd rather this not turn ugly, Mr. Miles. Then let me through. Subdue the subject, please. Subdue? You could try. You could definitely try. Just like that. Wow, bro, he just came at the animus slice. I want an animus just to learn these skills. Okay, where am I supposed to go? <laughs> that was easy. got Rebecca on the on the headset. Well, you've learned absolutely nothing since you left us. Walking into an elevator in the middle of a hostile environment. Really? <laughs> Watch and learn, bro. Where's my father? He know nothing. <laughs> You'll see him soon enough. Now be a good boy and wait for security to fetch you. You're gonna have to climb the rest of the way. Easy. Man of my skills. No. Got it up the elevator shaft. Send someone in. Okay. Left, right. Tried every single wall, bro. What's up with that? Need eyes on him. He can't be far. Where the hell is he? Gotcha. Got your boat. That's okay. I do. Oh, yeah. Is that him? Oop. Are you sure you want to do this? Ah, brutal. Stunning. I have a gun. Don't even try, man. Ooh. Why you sure are your own buddy, man? Come on. Y'all want some too? Let's get it. Oh. Bro, the combat. Ah. Ooh. Just like that. All dead. Okay. Through here, maybe? The window? No window? Okay, the window. I think this is where we escape with Lucy. First part. Oh yeah, is this it? Oh yeah. Give me the apple. Hell no. Nah. Let's not draw this out. You got nowhere to go, and I've got a gun. Hell yeah, I got in the apple. Speaking of which, it's the 21st century, and you're still running around with only a tiny knife for protection. 
It's stupid. Oh, yeah. All right, Desmond. Game's over. Not now. Not now. Ooh, what's wrong with you? Oh, oh, oh. Get out! Is that Russian? What was that? Do I run after him? Did he just commit suicide? Enough is enough, Mr. Miles. I invited you here in the spirit of cooperation. No, he's right there. But you responded to my hospitality with only violence. I had hoped we might preserve you and further study your memories. But you're not worth trouble. I wonder who's in who's beside his head. Dead. Where's Vinny? He was acting crazy, man. I wonder what that was. He had the light, like the precursor or the ones we came for. You guys want some? Come here. Oh yeah. So easy on him, Desmond. Wow. Just, I don't want to kill you. I do not wish to kill you. It's got to be done. you hadn't noticed I'm the one calling the shots now give me the apple you want it fine here it is wait no oh you didn't even let him Oh, no, no negotiation, bro. I'm just done. Here, done. That's it. Got no time. You never should have come here. You put everything on the line for what? So you could rescue your father? Yeah. 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 Not the power source. Lit. So we just oh, do not oppose me. Oh, 
He's good with it. Just like Altair and Ezio. It's that DNA, bro. You know? That precursor DNA. Yeah. Just like that. In. And out. And back. I'd get the power source hooked up before heading back into the Animus. But it's your call. Yeah, I think we're gonna do that. Let's get a couple of... Hey, Desmond. Yeah. Didn't Subject 16's... His name was Clay. Sorry, didn't Clay say Washington was a Templar? No. He indicated that Washington came into contact with an Apple of Eden, but beyond that, it's all speculation. Furthermore, judging from the portrait referenced by Clay, the event occurred much later in Washington's life. Perhaps Connor wasn't even involved. It's very hard to know for sure. We just have to wait and see what, if anything, happens. So what was it like being back hmm. at Abstergo? I didn't expect to get out of there alive. It's a good thing Cross broke down the way he did. If he wasn't losing his mind, I'd probably be dead. I guess he never really recovered. What do you mean? When he first came to us, he was exhibiting symptoms of the bleeding effect. It was real bad. He just go in and out at a moment's notice. No animus required. Got a little violent too sometimes. It took a while and a bunch of therapy, but we thought we had it under control. Once he went back over to Abstergo though, who knows what they did to him. I still worry about that happening okay, to me. So he was having He was raised in an He was having a bleeding effect. So I can't remember which one opened. I think it's that way. Yeah, does that have anything to say? Hello. Hey. Do you think killing Vidic set up Sturgo back? I doubt it. I'm sure he pioneered the Animus. But they've had the technology for decades now. Plenty of other people can take his place. And Cross? Oh, he was a loose cannon. I doubt anyone's mourning his death. I think these days he was more a symbol than an asset. I'm sorry, I don't mean to dismiss what you did. But it's going to take a lot more than a couple of deaths to stop the Templars. Yep. Learned that the hard did way. Did Vidic put you in an animus when you were at Abstergo? They'd be able to search your memories and track you back here. Oh, they definitely tried. But I made things difficult for them. You can resist, you can cloud up the transmission, or just refuse to move. Eventually, they would have gotten what they needed. But it still would have taken them weeks. Threatened to put me in a coma once. It would have made you more pliable. But if the user isn't engaged, it's a mess. I know they've been working on ways to extract memories and let others you gotta be sift willing through those memories. Use the animal. Maybe they're even analyzing mine right now. Maybe they'll find us. I don't know. What I do know is that we've got to get through that door. Yeah. I should probably get back into the animus. The Sean? He's always lurking over there. Does he have anything to say? He's all about history and knowledge. I regret not asking you to hack into the Abstergo servers while you were there. A couple Ooh. of well-placed relays and we'd be swimming in information. We have everything we need. Yeah, except the key. We're close. How do you know? I just do. I've been poking around a bit. Hmm. Did you know there are machines down here that make, well, mana? Wizard mana or biblical mana? What do you think? Biblical, of course. The Greeks called it Ambrosia. Mana? Is the that like... Amrit or Soma. Most mana cultures around games? the world refer Magic? to a divine food, though I'd say its taste is anything but. You ate something that came out of a 75,000-year-old machine? And I live to tell the tale. So? What did it taste like? Cardboard. Tasted of cardboard. <laughs> How did the stuff of legends, though... I wonder if the first civilization didn't taste differently than we do. Maybe the flavorizer broke. Flavorizer? You certainly got away with words, Rebecca. Flavorizer. Hey, let's hook up the power source and hope that there's no weird creatures waiting to tell us stories.
Hope I'm going the right way. Oh, yep. Juno. A new world approached. One that was dark and cold. It would consume us. For we were flesh, and flesh is frail. Though suits and shields might offer comfort, such adornments would not suffice. Not to save us all. So we sought to change what we were. In this manner, we might thrive in a world made poisonous. It was Aita who volunteered to see if it might be done. Aita, my husband, my love. In the end, it changed him, ruined him. He was made a prisoner of the machines. The body might survive. But his mind became brittle to the touch. He begged me for release. For days. For weeks. For months. I pleaded with him to give us time to find another way. But there, there wasn't, wasn't one. one. Not, Not for, for him. him. Not, Not for us. You killed your own husband, bro? I guess if you love someone so much, you just stab them. Seems like that's what everybody's been doing. Ooh, slick. That was slick, bro. Okay, so I guess we're gonna. Uh, um. Yeah, over here. Yup. Yup. Okay, another story. What is consciousness but a series of electrical impulses? And the body, a vessel to hold these sparks. But it is weak. In time, it decays and crumbles into dust. We asked ourselves then, what if it might be replaced with something stronger, something better? So we forged a plastic new surgery. Vessel. One that might endure. It proved easy enough to enter. But to leave, to leave required something more, something wrong. And so this too they abandoned. I wondered, were they right to turn away? He's speaking riddles, man. All these stories. That was creepy. Okay. Uh. Here. Here. No. Nope. Here. boys over can I jump through here yeah so just gotta go back into the animus and then let Connor lead us to the key 
Okay. I'm gonna go back in the animus. Like so. Home stretch, Desmond. I can feel it. The tides of war are turning. The loyalists fall back beneath the advancing Patriot army. Their hold on this land weakening by the day. But the Templars only seem to grow stronger. Though fewer in number, the threat they pose appears undiminished. Hmm. Making matters worse, Washington chose to spare the life of Charles Lee. I am told he has taken refuge inside Fort George, and so my days are spent searching for a way to breach its walls. Of my father, there is no trace, and I am glad of it. If I can be rid of Lee, there may still be a chance for reconciliation. Through reconciliation. Peace. Homestead, 1781. So a couple of years have passed. Connor, he's asking for you. Diana. No. Hello, come. Is he dying? Come now. Your sadness won't sustain me any more than that fool woman's soups and potions. Tell me of your latest exploits. Charles Lee has been exposed and the Patriots finally rid of him. They march now to secure the remaining cities that this country might finally be free. Then you have won. The land and your people are safe. Yet you seem troubled. Hmm. Washington spared Lee's life. So long as he lives, all are in danger. The same is true for your father. When you first came to me, you understood what had to be done. Swore you'd see it through. If not for the Brotherhood, for your people, and all those threatened by the Templars. But with Lee gone, my father might... Listen to me. You have not come this far to throw it all away over misplaced sentiment. Both men must die. A Achilles. There is nothing more to discuss. I understand he's your father. <laughs> Connor, I came as soon as I could. Interesting. Tell me you bring good news. The Comte de Grasse said yes. You need only join his fleet in Chesapeake Bay and they will serve as required. But what exactly is it you intend? It's better that I show you. Hmm. Charles Lee may have been dismissed. But it does not mean we are safe. But the commander? The commander underestimates the threat, and no more time can be wasted trying to convince him otherwise. I must do this on my own. Do what, exactly? Kill Charles Lee. He hides within Fort George, which is itself surrounded by a militarized district. I cannot hope to infiltrate it directly. So I will go under instead. Incroyable. So, yeah. The tunnels leading to the fort have been filled in. While I secure the Admiral's ships, I need you to clear them for me. And the ships? When signaled, they will bombard the fort. Breaching its walls and creating a distraction, I see. In Lit. the chaos, I will slip inside, find Charles Lee, and silence him forever. Well, this was an interesting turn of events. Okay, guys, I'm going to end it here. There's a lot of betrayal everywhere. I mean, betrayal, betrayal, betrayal. Well, I hope you guys enjoy it. Like, comment, subscribe. Help a bunch. And uh, see you guys next time. Peace.